slap chop painting technique. So uh, hopefully uh, this will go according to plan. I have pre-primed a mini. I'm going to start with the dry brushing stage and then we're going to go through and uh, do it. So here is one that I have dry brushed already. Um, here is a Chaos Warrior that I'm going to dry brush on stream and then we're going to try using some contrast paints hopefully get a really good finish on these minis. So, so what do you have to do to start with? Uh, dry brush it. Well, so what I've done is I uh, primed it black and then I've done a zenithal highlight with grey and then we're going to dry brush it white. There's nobody watching us. Nobody cares. <laughs> I care. So I'm going to start off with some nuclear white from Green Stuff World. For, uh, for dry brushing purposes. Now, just got to... Uh, I want to photograph my stages. See, Sharon's here. Hi, Sharon. How are you doing? Photographing uh, stages. Yeah, I'm photographing stages because uh, one of the one of the boys has said that I have to document my progress. Ah, oh, they should be watching. Well, I know. Tell, tell them it's free to watch what they're missing at. Well, I've got you know other stuff to do. Hi, Hi everyone. Thanks. You might have to explain now, to Sharon and Karen, what you're doing. <laughs> we're uh, we're trying out some slap chop technique. So uh, we've got our Chaos Warrior and we're going to dry brush him uh, dry brush him up. So we're going to start at the top and work down. So I've done the little zenithal highlighty thing. So we're going to start at the top and dry brush it down quite heavy with the white. Like that. And then we're gonna then we're gonna contrast him up. So while I was eating my lunch yesterday. I saw a video where they were talking about this slap chop thing and I mentioned it to Mrs MLG this afternoon that maybe I should give it a go and we said why don't we do it? Yeah do it! What's the worst that can happen? So basically it's hey, just hey. you... It, What's up dog? You can't get under. Yeah. It's just using contrast paint to paint your mini but also kind of pre-shading it all over, not just doing a zenithal highlight, but doing a pre-shade with the uh, with the dry brushing, heavy dry brushing on your mini. Everybody hydrate! So I hope I haven't put my arm in that paint. No, I haven't. Hey. And, and apparently uh, you should dry brush onto your hand to make sure that your brush is, is right. I've been watching little tutorials. Let's have a quick hydrate. Got a cup of tea, green tea, it's good for you. Hey Lady Beep. Slap chopping. Yeah. This this will be my first ever attempt as well, so uh, bear with me. Right, so coming down on the thing. Like that, I'm gonna do it quite heavy. Just want him to look bright. So we're gonna do the armor black and then some of the other bits red and what have you. Now, what I understand is uh, it's quite good practice when you're using this technique to uh, do some hard edge highlights with the white. Hey, Tony. Hi. So we're going to do that. I'm going to uh, do a couple at the top here. So I'll have a little bit on the top of his axe. Like that. Then a bit on this like, runey bit on the sword. Maybe along the edge of that blade there. And around the top. Where else? Maybe on that hair, give that a bit. Just get a bit of water on there. Uh, where else should get a bit of uh, 
hard edge highlighting around that edge on that axe maybe the beard just around there little little snippet on there something like that that'll do bit on the blade bit on the uh, cross guard or maybe around the top of his around the top of his um, shield there at the back Are you streaming tonight or are you still Lurgified? Right, let's get into it. Let's get into it, that'll do. I don't want to go too over the top. With... So, so just before you get into it, just give us a recap on what you're doing and what it the starting off thing was. Okay, so we're going to uh, so we're having a go at the slap chop technique, which uh, sounds bizarre. I've no idea why they call it slap chop. If anybody knows, please tell us. But uh, basically, start off with a black undercoated mini, uh, and then either dry brush it or Zenithal highlight it with a grey, which I've done, and then dry brush it white, so you get like a, a nice tone of. Uh, mini like color on your mini and then we're gonna uh use contrast paints to bring it up and apparently it's gonna look awesome so we're gonna work on this chaos warrior and also this uh renegade guardsman that i've got now i did this dry brush this guy a little bit earlier so we'll put a bit of color on him first and then we'll move on to the chaos warrior once it's had a chance to drop Wicked D says, no stream tonight, still not right. I'm glad for once you're looking after yourself. Right. So, our uh, our traitor guardsman, we're going to give him... Uh, Look, I'm here doing shadow puppets again. <laughs> we're going to give him uh, some... Agaros Junes Fatigues. Is, uh, is what we're going to do. I want them to look kind of like ochre in colour. So I'm just give it a contrast. So I always put um, some mixing balls in my contrast paints to make sure they get properly mixed. And then the other thing that I've seen recommended is for you to thin your contrast paints a little bit. So that is what we're going to do. Are you using contrast paints and not yeah. Speed paints or yeah, I'm gonna super use, washers. I'm or... going to use contrast paints because that's what the guy said okay. on the uh, on the little tutorial thing. So I'm going to get some uh, get some contrast medium. Thin that. Just blob right through the stuff. Thin that down just a touch. Couple of brushfuls of that. Just don't move the chair. <laughs> the uh, what's he doing? The dog is know. under my chair. Right. So then we're going to paint this onto his uniform. Hopefully, this is going to look really cool. It's the army painter one, Lady P. Wet palette. Ah, yes, an army painter wet palette. Uh, I am terrible with my wet palette. I've just had to uh, clean it again because uh, I'm rubbish at looking after it. You lost it. Just yeah, I've, the I've was lost like, it. Uh, where's it gone? <laughs> I've moved it, hidden it away. Right. Hey, Let's... John. Hi. I'm doing some weird stuff tonight, John. I'm doing some. Slap chop for the first time. <laughs> yeah, no idea why it's called slap chop. Oh, so, started what, using your wet palette last night, did you, Wicked D? What, what do you think to it? What do you actually think? Wicked D's only just got a wet palette in the wet yeah. palette gang. Which one did Wicked D get? Uh, I don't know. Which one did you get, Wicked D? Right. 
it. So it still requires you to have a fairly steady hand. More so than normal, really, because you can't go back, I guess, with this kind of method. Can't easily go back and uh, touch up your mistakes if you go over your undercoat, because your undercoat then won't match because of the dry brushing and the variation of colours. Oh, green stuff well gone, wicked dear scat. Is this dog eating my chair or is he eating his toy? He's eating your chair. Hey, Asma! This looks like fun. Did you already? Yes, yes. So he's then it. Blah, 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 that, that word. Yeah. And then drive brush. You, you tell. You know what you did. <laughs> yeah, so undercoat of black, Xenophil highlight of uh, grey. Oh, blobbed his, done his eyes already. This is disaster. Disaster. Uh, however, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Uh, Xenophil highlight with grey and then a dry brush of white. So we'll. And uh, now contrasting. And now contrasting. So we're Agaros Dunes on the. Uh, on the like uniform we're going to paint the armor plates on his chest and his shoulders in a different color uh, and i think i might go with a slightly different color for his trousers because uh his jacket and his trousers could be could be different colors i think or should we do it all the same yeah i think because uh, we're gonna have a bit of different color on his around his gaiter things around his legs I oh, know they're like bits of armor stuff as well. Uh, decisions, decisions. Didn't really plan uh, that far ahead for this guy. Plan? Since when did we plan? Yeah, yeah. Um, John says, "Hooray for Gizmo! It's a uh, it's a year today, John, since we first met Gizmo. So we went to see the litter of puppies a year ago today, and picked Gizmo, or rather, actually, Gizmo picked us." I sat on the floor and let the puppies come to me and then uh, Gizmo came over for a big snuggle and picked us and wouldn't go. So I was like, well, <laughs> that's this, the one This then. is the one. This is the a one. A year ago today. Right, we're going to... Uh, I'm going to use... Once I've finished wrecking my uh, painting good. station, I'm going to use some um, Militarum Green for his trousers, I think. Yeah, so we so first ever met him a year ago today, and then we had to wait for him to be eight weeks, which was uh, next week, was it? Lady Peach, who says, what kind of pupper is Gizmo? He's a fox red Labrador. Sure is. Sure is. Right, so. Is this one here? This is, this is Gizmo. Yeah. <laughs> That's him. That's actually him. There's a wild Pokemon in chat. Hey Dan, uh, we're doing some slap chop. Doing some slap chop, Dan. <laughs> slap yeah. chop. When uh, when I was looking up slap chop, I've just seen some horrific people videos of people using the slap chop cooking uh, aid, which uh, where they're basically just squashing vegetables and stuff. It's uh, it's pretty weird. Uh, thin that. If you ever want to laugh, look up uh, Slap Chop reviews after the stream, obviously. You wanted a puppy, Wiki D. Don't yeah. you go blaming me. We got Gizmo first, and then Wiki D copied. <laughs> Is it a border collie? It's been a border collie. Is that is that right? Because isn't there a, a different type? I don't know. Or have I just made that up? Some what? Says Dan. The cooking thing? No, no, not the cooking thing. Where he's kicking the <laughs> trouble. Yeah, the cooking thing just they just smash, smash fruit and pretend it's a cooking device. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to slap the top of the thing, and it's supposed to slice it. I think. It just smushes yeah. stuff. But are you going to tell Dan what slap chop in painting is? Yeah, slap chop apparently is uh, is this technique, and I've no idea why they call it slap chop, but it is basically dry brushing and pre-highlighting your mini, so that when you use contrast or glazes or whatever over the top, 
you end up with um, an even more pre-shaded uh, or looking like shaded mini so it looks better uh, as the end result so we'll see how this guy dries and then we're gonna we're gonna move on to the chaos warrior so I think what we're gonna do is armor first seeing as that's gonna be in the recesses contrast paints you slap on yeah, but where's the chop come from? Yeah. so we're gonna go with some black Templar all, all paints armor. we slap on there's no uh, we're not discriminating we'll yeah. just slap them all on black Templar and you, first. <laughs> says, contrast paint you slap on and you have to slap shout chop <laughs> <laughs> right. Your chair must be really tasty. Mm. Gizmo's enjoying it. Is it is it good dog? He's pretending now. He's pretending he's not doing it like just doing it out the side of his mouth. Not doing <laughs> it. Can't mm, really it. not eating it. Right. So Let's get the scabby old brush out of the way. Let's have a let's have a mouthful of tea. Yeah, we should have a we should have had a stream loops card which you've got to sh shout Stop chop like <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> Just for fun. That'd be funny. <laughs> slap chop. Right, so we're going to, Maybe uh, I should make the lance reward that you have to shout slap chop. Maybe. What is it? Is that what it is? Slap chop. Slap chop. Slap chop. Slap chop was a was a stupid, as seen on TV gadget that you put over some veg and slapped it to chop the air. We we, we googled it because we didn't know why this painting technique was called it, and everything comes up with the the device, the kitchen device, and it just looks. You might as well just get a hammer and smash yep. your fruit to bits by the by the looks of it. Oh, gears that stinks. What's the format on Friday for Friday Night Magic? Store Championship, modern. Maybe it's because you slap it on the minis chops. Hey, Red! Hi. We're slap chopping, Red. We're slap chopping. Yeah, Store Championship for Magic the Gathering this Friday. <laughs> Lady P says, Doggo Toots are the worst. You ain't got over here yet, Lady P. I'm all right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm about ready to, like... Pass out over here. It's absolutely rank. <laughs> Asma says, yep, personally, I just use a knife, you know, for the vegetables in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, well, this amazingly well. There's uh, the little video that I showed Mrs. MLG, the guy, like, can't fit his tomato inside the device, <laughs> so has to cut it in half with a knife. <laughs> so, well, yeah, that's, well, that's what he says. Like, oh, I, guess I, I guess I'll just use this knife then. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just you just put this perfectly good knife down, um, and <laughs> not use it. Yeah, sounds like a so I, like so a I can smash this uh, thing into some tomatoes and just make some puree. Yeah, yeah it was a mess. It was a mess, Asman. It was a mess. <laughs> the the slap chop mini uh, the slap chop gadget Tony with a, with a gap in between the words slap and chop is a cooking utensil which is the most ridiculous thing in the world and just smooshes up fruit and veg a slap chop without a gap in the middle is this weird m painting method for contrast paints yeah and it, it, and, it and it looks like loads of YouTubers are jumping on the uh jumping on the thing so we thought that we'd best have a go before uh, it becomes old news <laughs> you just wanted to try it because you thought it might be fun yeah i think you probably wanted to try the actual uh slap chop cooking thing oh as well. i definitely want to have a go with one of those lady p says happy we normally miss the bandwagon red we're normally miles miles behind the bandwagon running along going oh what did something happen that's a proper hat. It is a proper hat. It's the first one I grabbed. Tony says you've got to put a wig on that hat because it's boring. Mm, okay. We don't. It just says wig me, but I've added that bit in. Okay. <laughs> this, 
this I dog. I watched two YouTubers getting increasingly sense. drunk reviewing the cooking slap chop. I bet that was funny. I think I think you might want to go out, darling. Again. Because he's got a stinky bum. Yeah. I think he's just coming out to nick your wigs, is what I think he's done. <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on. I was still trying to add this viewer reward. Yeah. Uh. Come on, bum bum. I always liked watching uh, Will It Blend. Will It Blend? Yeah, haven't watched it for a good long time, but that was always uh, that was always entertaining. I'm sure they don't put proper stuff in. Oh no, no, they've got like an industrial strength. Drink. Time decision, you've got a drink. You ain't put your wing on. No, now. I haven't. No. Oh, Just finishing finishing me little bit of black. Yeah, they have like an industrial strength blender, and they put. Um, all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff in it, like uh, matchbox cars and uh, stuff. Yes, a blend tech, and they put all sorts of craziness in it. I saw um, on the old Top Gear, Clarkson made a blender that was attached to a V8 or something. Mm. Yes, my tea bag had split. Look at look at all that. Yeah. That could that looks like baby poo. That you mm. could tell your uh, fortune with that. Yeah. Green tea. Yes. Yeah. It was. Uh, it made a made a ridiculous uh, contraption. That, like we had an engine with a foot pedal to uh, power it that was attached through a kitchen cupboard. Tony, uh, Tony says he saw the grim. <laughs> Read the leaves. Mm. Looks like, um, mm, yeah, I can, I can kind of see the grim. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like somebody might come and uh, buy some models tomorrow from Mighty Lancer Games. Let's get a little bit of Basilicanum Grey, and we're going to do the uh, the swords with that. Right, I've added say slap chop. <laughs> <laughs> just for, just because it's funny. Slap chop. Slap chop. Oh, Panda's feeling grumpy because I'm not oh, paying better, any attention to him. Better photograph me uh, progress, haven't I? Looks like Nathan's going to get his butt handed to him by someone at Modern on Friday. Oh, I don't doubt it. Um, I, have, I have no illusions that uh, I'm going to probably lose. Um, I think if, uh, if we get any non-locals come that they're probably going to stomp everyone because nobody's used to playing Modern. But uh, hopefully, hopefully... Whoever uh, whoever suggested that we do modern in the first place is going to come and do well because it was one of you guys. I can't remember who uh, who originally suggested it, but uh, I am ready. Yeah, I am ready. My deck is ready for uh, Friday. Had to make some uh, significant changes, seeing as they've. Uh, Mox Opal's been banned since the last time I played with it. But everything will be fine. Tony says, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Almost makes me want to build build slithers. Yeah, well, I think you should. Come and uh, come and try it out. See how good slithers are in the new uh, meta. Can hear the fair. So this guy, this uh, this chaos warrior that I'm painting here, is a member of the Kagras Ravagers um, Warhammer Underworld set. I don't know wh what his uh, character's name is. Didn't say in the instructions. But in this uh, in this set, there are four miniatures, and uh, this guy is uh, this dude off the back of the box, just a generic warrior. This this one here is Kagra the Usurper, and this is her sister apparently. Uh, this sorcerer, one at this side. I think it's a sister. Yeah, so uh, I'm quite liking the look of it already, actually. It's 
going uh, going all right going all right yeah let's uh yeah, then. hold holding up to the camera there we go this is uh, this is how we're looking so far when's the zombie gaming day you mean the halloween fun day 29th yeah. it's a friday 11 Sa well saturday oh sorry yeah, it's because I keep looking at Dan's Friday night. It's a Saturday, it's the 29th of October, 11 while 3 is is the whole whole thing. Fancy dress is always uh, is always great to see. There is uh, a prize for the best fancy dress. Don't get excited, it's just a little prize. <laughs> uh, adults and children come to the Halloween fun day. It's, and that's uh, when the zombie survival games are. That's John really the Templar, good. we love having you here. We do, John. We really, really, really do. That's me filming myself to do... Uh, <laughs> and the... Uh, I'm trying not to get my belly in. And the uh, Halloween fun day is also the one year anniversary of Gizmo coming home it with is. us. It is. That's when, he, that's when we first... So last year when we did the Halloween fun day, you and Little Miss went to pick him up without me because I had to stay and help everybody at the fun day because it was just r wrapping up, wasn't it? Yep. And we and we needed to go pick him up because the people who we got him from were going out to a yeah. Halloween party. And we needed to go so and get him. So we needed which, to go and get yeah, him. Yeah, was fine because then we got to get him slightly earlier. We were supposed to get him the day after. Uh, yeah, but I was at a event it was fiasco in Leeds war games show so you two got to spend all day yeah, with him without me and you weren't here ha, ha, ha. maybe uh, that's why he hates me he doesn't hate me he's just been eating your chair uh, da, 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 da. lady peachy says i'm now painting cupcake cupcake toppers as i watch not slap chop technique though yeah don't don't be slap chopping your cupcake Red says, well, cool, his party's Friday. Ah, see, obviously we planned it then, didn't we? Planned it so that it's Saturday. Excellent. Uh, and obviously there's the Halloween quiz stream on Monday the 31st. Tony says, I like the look of the new Skelly Bobber war band that'll be coming out. Yeah, I saw that. I thought yeah, that was were, quite cool. They were cool. Weekend Geek says, I think the best costume was when Nathan dressed up as Death from Bill and Ted. When have you ever dressed up as Death from Bill and Ted? When's he done that? <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure I ever have. Uh, off to Spiders. Is that still open? Yeah. Spiders. I've never been. But you have, obviously. Oh, yeah. A long time ago since I, uh, I was ever there. Yeah, but I've never been at all. It was, uh, it was my mate Tom's stag do the last time we went. and He's got about 25 it, kids now. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's been married a long time. There's a wild Pokemon in the old chat. Komonoko straight in there. What's that then? Baraskawada. <laughs> That's like some other language. Ba. -ra. So, Lasgun's getting a, a one like a coat of Basilicanum grey. Looks like a pike. And then what I'm going to do is go back over uh, with. A second coat. Yes, Lady to, Pichu. Uh, change the uh, change the tone of it after with uh, after we've done. You don't want a space in between exclamation mark and poke catch, Lady P. Otherwise, it won't work. It needs to be all one. Right. So. Last time I went to Spiders, felt like everyone's granddad said red. Yeah, that'll be Dan now because Dan's knocking on, aren't you, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Emma. Has never been. That's yep. a surprise. No, I've never been there. I don't go out in Hull. I know it's probably not your thing anymore, but I'm 100% sure you'd have liked it. I, I, don't, I, I think don't like you might have out. liked it. You don't like going out, it's scary. I like going out in my hometown and then I can just run home when necessary. That's what I like. Get some flesh terrors red going on for <laughs> the cloak. It keeps auto corrected, Lady P. So every time she does it right, it puts the space in. It's like, no, come on, get your grammar right. 
Oh, Wiki D's never been either. So when oh, you still haven't answered us yet, Dan? When was uh, when was Nathan, Bill and Ted death? Yeah, I can't remember it. I can't remember that one. I might have been drunk, but then I would have. You know, I don't uh, know. Yeah, I'd have had to have been sober to have got in the costume, I guess. So. He's been the devil from Tenacious D. Yeah. I've been, I've been deaf. You sure it won't me? Won't Bill and Ted deaf though? Oh no, Tony, too late. I thought he looked like it at the old shop. Maybe you just put some I don't know. face paint on. I might have had a scream. Yeah, we mask used to have on. a we used to have a scream costume. He might have had the robes on. He might have had the robes on for scream. Yeah, yeah. We used to have a scream costume. And he probably didn't wear the mask so you didn't scare the kids. Yeah. Yeah. That might be it. So just the Grim Reaper in general. It's been so many things. Your um, your Hellboy was good. Yes, I was thinking because you were talking about the comic con thing. I was thinking that maybe we should go dressed up, and I was wondering if I've still got enough Hellboy you costume. Your, you what have your hands? Because you made it, didn't you? It's not going to be any good now. It was like 20 years ago. Yeah, thought thought about wearing my Hellboy costume for that. You know how we, we, we still think it's 1990? Yeah. But it's not. <laughs> yeah, he probably, that's what he probably did, Dan. He probably painted his face. Tony's never been to spiders either. I don't know if I've ever, if I've ever really been out in Hull. Hull was always too scary. I've been out in York, didn't like that. I've been out in Leeds, really, really didn't like that. I've been out in Scarborough, didn't like that either. Yeah, I don't like, don't like venturing forth. <laughs> Went out in York in a limousine <laughs> when limos weren't all like popular, and when we stopped at the traffic lights, a load of people came running up and knocking on the windows to see what famous person we were, and it was just us. They were most disappointed. That's when the limo driver thought that I was um, hired for entertainment for the night. Because <laughs> you were the only lady. Because yeah, my friends are boys and I was the only girl, so the limo driver decided that I must have just been the hired entertainment. Nice. <clears throat> awesome. I'd be tempted to go as Dr. Frankenfurt. You should. <laughs> Maybe not to our Halloween thing, though. That might be a bit scary. Nathan's been uh, been Frankie, haven't you? Have I? Yes. Well, dressed in uh, that kind of attire for uh, for a trip to Rocky Horror. Years and years ago. I think I was about 19. And the last time we went, we went as the party goers, didn't we? Yeah. Because we were older and far more modest. Yeah. Can't, uh, <laughs> can't, can't, get, can't get away with gold speedos these days. Although <laughs> Dan's oh, got possessed. Although apparently uh, dad bods are in. <laughs> According to uh, YouTube. Must be true then. Yeah. Right then. Which so we're going to... I always wanted to be magenta, but I but I haven't been. Gonna use some orc flesh for the like scaly stuff around his shoulders, I think. And this hand coming over this side. I think we're gonna do that with orc flesh. Mm. What's that? It's a jump scare. Ah. Did it make you jump? No. Made you go, what's that? <clears throat> I'm quite enjoying this. This is. Uh, I'm glad. Sorry, right, this. I'm glad. See if we can uh, see if we can finish him within the hour. Two minis in an hour. Konoka says I finally watched Rocky Horror whilst sick last week. Utter lunacy. Yeah, we said you might enjoy it because you were like um, painkillers and stuff. Mm. <laughs> it's insane, isn't it? <laughs> 
What else did we say that you should watch? Um, Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. We rewatched that the other day. Easy boo, what are you doing, mate? Yeah, you you couldn't ever remember watching it before, could you? But you knew all the words to the songs. Yeah, it was a bit creepy because I, I still don't really remember anybody in it. <laughs> but yeah. Feed the Seymour. Hmm. You alright, puppy? Yeah. You okay? It was my good boy. Yeah, you batter in the backdrop there, mate. Mm. <laughs> that, that was a thing you put on, wasn't it, Red? Predator the musical that I had to take down mm. <laughs> because it wasn't family friendly. Where, he, where and then that line with the beard shaving. It made us laugh. We, <laughs> we did find it funny. Don't watch that too. You could remember the songs as well. Yeah, I can't remember watching it, but I definitely knew the songs. Yeah, I liked uh, I liked Predator the musical. I wonder if there's Commander the musical. Weekend Gate says I watched Terrifier yesterday. Absurd, gore, cheap. But the actor that plays the villain literally carries the show to heights it shouldn't have been able to reach. All right, Terrifier. Mm. Never heard of it. Everything that I've thought of that I wanted to watch. So the other day I said I wanted to see, um, I wanted to see Evolution again with David Duchovny, and uh, we'd look for it. And all the streaming services, you have to pay for it. All, all, all the streaming services that we have, certainly, you have to pay for yeah, it. Yeah, we have got which, all the streaming which, services, which I find very annoying. I'm looking alright so far, this guy. What, what colour should we do his plume on his head? I think we might use Blood Angels red for that. Purple. Red says purple. Purple. I think we can manage purple. I beat Pete, you see. Pete didn't say pink. <clears throat> we'll use some use some purple. How is our uh, guardsman coming on? I think he needs... Oh, I might just have to wait for that to dry on his head and blob his eyes so we can do them like a brighter colour. So he's, he's ready for some leather colour in a second. Oh, I've accidentally just painted her bottom orange. <laughs> painted her bum. I painted her bottom orange by accident. I will be watching Lost Boys as part of my Halloween film week. Lost Boys is one of my favourite films, but I refuse to watch it again. Uh, because I know I'm going to be disappointed. I know it's never going to be as good as I remember it being when I was like 19. And I don't want to spoil the memory. Like rewatching Craft. Yeah, yeah I thought, I thought it was odd week. that you've not made me want to made me watch no, it. Because I know it's not as good as I remember it, and I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it. Like when I rewatched <laughs> the Craft the other week, and I was like, "Well, that was rubbish, wasn't it?" <laughs> uh... I think you have you watched that new version of the Craft. They were like a remake of it, or something. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember if I have or not. The Lost Boys is still awesome. So that's kind of. Uh, I might have to rewatch it at some point. I might have to bite the bullet. That's got to be on uh, streaming services, isn't it, Lost Boys? Especially, see, especially seeing as we're coming on to Halloween. Yeah, but all these cult classics, they make you pay for, don't they? That's mm, the thing. I suppose. I suppose. Right. Sword. Or well, scabbardy bits. I've uh, missed those. And he does make him, yeah. As soon as I saw it, I was like, look, look, look what Annie's got. Saxman! <laughs> How come you don't get. You mean if I don't watch it, I don't get to see him? Is that what you mean? Or have they cut it out? Sometimes in when you watch films on telly and streaming services, they've cut bits out 
and then I think I've gone insane. Get your nose out of there. Nice, I'm sure that was in there. Come on, drop it. <laughs> well, that's, uh, apparently so, Red, apparently so. What have they cut out? I don't know. Uh, Asma said, that's an excellent plan, but you don't get to see Saxman again, but you can paint him since Annie makes a model. I don't know if they've cut him out or if it's just that if I don't watch it again, I won't get to see him. Yeah. We've got the soundtrack somewhere. Is all right. I, no, I'm with you. I I remember it. I remember it. Should do that one red as well, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's true. That's true. I, I might have to just. I might just have to have another watch and just put on my 80s glasses and not watch it with my 2022 eyes just I do like older films though I like like the older James Bond films and all just the cheesy nonsense I think all the modern day films now they try too hard to make things dark and gritty and blown up you just want a bit of light hearted fun don't you let's stake some yeah. vampires with a bit of wood <laughs> Let's dissolve some in the bath. Let's make one explode. I mean, come on, what are you messing up? <laughs> right, let's get some leather. I think we'll do some boots. So we're going to use. Some... Boots are made for working. We're going to use Saigor Brown. He's not showing us, we can't see. Oh, sorry. You have to like wave him around and then I can. This is, uh, this is what he's looking like so far. I love the way he slowly makes it go off the top of the can. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's looking like so far, our right, guy. With Slapjaw. Slapjaw. Whoop, whoop. Slapjaw. I'm going to make you say Slapjaw if I'm going to redeem it. Say Slapjaw. Slapjaw. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'll forget to take it off and... <laughs> And then we'll just be randomly doing some else. That'd be right. We've been uh, been watching some Poirot. We had to go back to watching old Poirot, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, new ones. New ones, like, not quite as good. John the Templar is sneaking about. <laughs> John's sneaking about behind us. He's trying to see you, Gizmo. That's what he's doing, mate. He's coming to see you. I don't think I put as much effort into dry brushing the base as I did the guy, so his base is going to be... But then I suppose we want the focal point to be the mini, don't we? Yeah. Oh, no, I was watching Knight Rider. Hello, Michael. When it was sick, it had an evil twin, David Hasselhoff, and everything. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> There's a wild Pokemon in chat. A bow toy. Bow toy. What's a bow toy? Can't really remember a great deal of. I just remember it went like. Bow toy looks like a robot. It's it, a ground and psychic type. It was. Knight Rider was the first time that in a movie or anything that I ever saw a uh, a car going into a truck while it was still oh, moving. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought that that was like the most awesome thing that I'd ever seen. Dropped it. Got no room for this. No room for this. Dropped it. What have you got now, mate? What's that? Give it here. Give it here. Oh. This. Paint, painting all the way over there. That's not good. I think we're going to be painting back in the middle. I don't remember Street Hawk. I don't think that was one that I saw. Street Hawk, the motorbike thing, I don't think wasn't I it? I think Street, Street Hawk. Hawk and Blue Thunder was the uh, helicopter thing, like Night Rider but with a helicopter. Street Hawk was random, says John. Finger bobs. Gotta get some finger bobs. I don't think it's in the same league though, is it? <laughs> finger bobs. <laughs> <laughs> What's finger mouse? I, I remember like fing I remember finger mouse. I don't I didn't like bag puss. 
Kono Kun and Lady Pichu have caught the Baltoy. Airwolf, Rosie and Jim. Yeah, I used to watch that. That was rubbish. <laughs> Just, what? No, I was just thinking, like, you know, if we're just naming, like, old TV programmes, I, uh, it made me think of that, um... Uh, round the, the Twist was good. Yeah, Round, round the Twist, like, Round uh, the Twist. Never like this. No, um, Rainbow, the clip of Rainbow, where, like, they were talking about playing with their twangers. Rainbow was uh, and, bad so. on so, so many levels. Yeah. <laughs> they were, they must we're have all been play, on something. We're going to play with our twangers. All, all on something while they were making that program. It's, uh, it's funny. The raccoons. I can't. Yeah, I like the raccoons. I can't remember the theme tune though. Best intro music was the raccoons. Says Lady Peachy. I can't remember the. I can't yeah. remember the theme tune for raccoons. Ah. Can you? Yeah. Go on then. I can, no, I can't sing it. Well, but I can. Um, I can hear it in my head. Thunder, so. Thunder, Thundercats. Oh. The. Uh, there is a band called the Cybertronic Spree and the Cybertronic, Cybertronic Spree and they do uh, a fantastic cover of the uh, Raccoon's theme tune Run With Us isn't it? Run With Us I don't know what Puddle Lane is wicked day uh, Yeah I like Puddle Lane oh, Puddle that. Lane was like a TV kids TV programme Pew, pew, bannabagrub, oh, bannabagrub. I, I don't know Puddle This is like, just chemical assault now. <laughs> what? Giz, he's done it again. It's just, it's just for you, because it's not come over here. I'm probably moved and went over near you. He's just trying to poison me. He's had an apple today. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Oh, Wicked D's got nearly You've all got the cyanide main poisoning, have you, dog? No, let's take the pips out. Hey, I had an apple today. What? I know. First one this year. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> Which one did you have? I got one of the green ones. It might be his socks, John. <laughs> it might be his feet. <laughs> right, I'm gonna give give these shoulder guards did, I, a second coat. I did wonder, Tony. I didn't say it though. You see, I went with the proper. I know. I know. I won't. I won't feeling very well. I thought I opened the fridge to get a chocolate biscuit out, like a penguin, and I thought, no, have an apple. And then regretted it instantly as I'm eating the manky apple. I even chopped it up to make it more palatable. Stay straight out of Trump. That was a weird one, wasn't it? The Trumpton thing. Trumpton. Straight out of Trumpton? Yeah, that was weird. Is a bit like is, his music. Is that a parody song, though, Straight Out of Trumpton? Because the TV programme wasn't called Straight Out of Trumpton. How are you getting on over there anyway with some painting? All right, good. We uh, we went on the just making me think about like rap music on a uh, years ago. Mrs. MLG and I went to the cinema to see a video a movie based off Notorious B.I.G.'s life, and it was called Notorious, and it was really good. But that is completely unobtainable. Uh, Online, I've not been able to find it anywhere, and I really fancied watching it again. Just there you go. <laughs> but we've never, I've never seen the Straight Out of Compton movie because that's supposed to be pretty good. Again, charting the uh, rise of the group NWA. But those were in the years when we used to go to the movies. Yeah. I mean, we don't do that anymore. Right. Gloves. I need to get gloves on that guy. Also need to do some eye lenses. Let's blob some white in so there. So how does the 
technique work for things like eyes and eye lenses and things like that then? Well, I'd been a bit clumsy and blobbed him in uh, on this guy. But if I'd have managed to avoid pooling too much stuff in there. Oh, Notorious is on Disney Plus. Right, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, look on that. Uh, I thought I had, but maybe not. But surely, like this kind of technique is for people that want to do stuff quick and yeah, aren't gonna concentrate on not blobbing. No, well, I think it, it's important that you not blob. So just take your time. <laughs> We're not falling for that one, that's now. Wicked D, Wicked D told me in the past. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Ah. Uh, she helps me out with all these things, you see. Right, it's just. Uh, Waiting for Hellraiser 2022 to hit Disney Plus. Looking forward to that one. Yeah, but you like horror. I don't like horror films. You like horror films, don't you? <laughs> What do we reckon to her? Red Red Snail's got it right there. Yeah. NWA stands for Nathan Won't Answer. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Uh, we've used that. We're going to go for... This is the Agaros Dunes. Now, apparently, Agaros Dunes makes a fantastic uh, non-metal metal. Gold, apparently. So we're going to use... Some uh, Agaros Dunes on our uh, shield and the hilt of this sword. So. That's what it. That's what it means around here, Karanoko Neighbourhood Watch Association. There's little stickers in people's windows and all sorts still around here. Mm. That's uh, that's what it stands for. Hulu. Don't know what Hulu is. We like hot fuzz and stuff like that, don't we? Yeah. What what are they called? The Cornetta. Cornetta trilogy. Why are they called that? Is it because he eats a Cornetto in the movie? It basically, yeah. Hot Fuzz, uh, Shaun end. of the Dead, and The World's End. See, I don't mind watching them again. Yar. Hot, Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead are definitely uh, the better ones. The better ones, I yeah. think. Right, what do you reckon to her? Uh, don't know. Have a look. Can I, can I just finish my shield? Oh, Panda's crying. Oh, why? Because he's hungry. Give him a cookie on me. Right, what do you reckon to her? Hmm. Here we go. Mrs. MLG's Halloween Sophie. Does it look alright? It looks alright to me. I think the eyes on the pumpkin are maybe a bit. A bit white. A bit white, yeah. <coughs> it's because I'm too heavy anti. Shall I put a bit of green in? Some, yeah, it's a bit of something. Well, they were green, and then I thought, I'll just put a little bit of white in, and then it just ended up being the whole thing white now. Right, let's do this uh, end of this sword. How are we doing for time? Ooh, we're nearly out of time. Well, Wicked Day's not streaming. The uh, slap chop's taken longer than it should have done. I guess it's my first one, so. And you have been talking and yeah. stuff. I don't want to buy viewers, thank you very much. You can go away. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, bot! Bye, bot! <laughs> we had a swan stuck on the motorway recently, and the Traffic Scotland Twitter feed was full of it's just the one swan, actually. <laughs> Blobbed onto his leg. That's terrible. Get rid of that. Blobbage. Right. Oh no, don't ban Coronoka. My, my button still hovered over ban. Nearly banned you, Coronoka. 
Why on earth would you do that? Well, not on purpose. It's just that I've left it from finding that bot. Uh, it was still in the exact the same. It was hovering. Hovering. Right. Let's get some Gorgon to fur for this bit of fur on his leg, I think. And then we'll find some snake bite leather for his gloves. And then some skeleton hoard. So does she look alright? I think so, darling. For the horns. Oh, I always forget that she's supposed to have wings. <laughs> have you left them off? I left them off again. John says hydrate. I always think it. she looks better without them, and then I realise that she's supposed to have wings on. And that really I should, you know, put some wings on her. Right. It's got this bit of fur down here. I don't know what colour wings to do her now. Ugh, oh, how annoying. How very dare she have wings. Hmm. Hmm, don't know. Keep the hydrator likes to party. No wing Wednesday. Yeah, I just forgot. I just forgot she's supposed to have them. That's all. It looks good now. Are you happy with it? Yeah. So Rings fair. like Paul McCartney. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't start that again. <laughs> yeah, she's a succubus. Orange wings. Orange wings? She's sat on an orange pumpkin. Doesn't that look a bit weird? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I'd rather just have no wings. Oh, we've got into kind of meditation music now. <laughs> right. Everybody do don't, know, don't know what colour to do his gloves. Snake bite leather, that's what we'll call it. Do his gloves. Purple wings. Yeah, she's got a purple dress on. She's getting red wings, everybody, by the way, because I've got some red. Peekaboo! I see you! Who are we, uh, we peekabooing? Uh, I don't know. Don't tell me. <laughs> Pat may be mixing Thanks, Red. Can't feed Panda. Aw, oh, poor Panda. Is it being silly? Let's let's treat him for you. Here we go. Oh, a wild litlio. Is that some kind of lion? Oh, dear. Maybe that's an on fire lion. I'm going to be disappointed if it's not now. Oh, that's really cute. It's like a little weird... On fire lion. Well, it is the wrong colour for a lion, though. It's some kind of cub, but it's got like a flamey hair. Yeah. This is a cutie cutie. This is a cutie cutie cutie. What on earth it... is that wicked dude? Does it turn into some kind of massive monster? Ah. Its short mane radiates heat. It ain't got a mane, it's got a mohawk. Oh, snake bite, hot, snake bite leather gloves look a bit weird. You spoiled it now. Yeah. Well, we can we can go over it with another coat. Let's see what they look like on this guy. It actually, looks like those things that headbang into the music now would be doing. I'm gonna make you say it again. Slap chop. <laughs> yeah, sla snake bite leather gloves look a bit weird. They look they look too similar to uh, the colour that they're next to. Might have to wait for those to dry and go over them with a darker brown. We're having an emoji party. Oh yeah. 
Tony and Red Snail have caught the cute little Pokemon. No, oh, liking that. Liking that. You're not showing us. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Bear with me while I just touch up a couple of little spots. Oh, jolly, jolly music. We've got um, got some horns to do, but let's show uh, show where we're up to so far. Yeah. So I don't like his gloves. I need to do his gloves a bit darker. But uh, there he is sneaking upwards. Liking, John the Templar uh, wants you to turn it up. Liking how he's going so far. I'm going to get some skeleton horde and do those horns next. But yeah, he's, uh, he's almost done. Liking this. He wants you to say their name. Wicked D! Wicked D! Wicked D! This one, Scabby Rush. Thank you, Kurinoko. Thank you. This, this might be a new, uh, <laughs> this might be a breakthrough for me. Every, everything might be getting slap chopped from now. Slap chopped? I failed to do my pictures. Progress pictures. I have to stop and have a progress picture. Guardsman's getting some glowy red eyes. So I, uh, I have a whole army of these guys that have never been painted. <laughs> these uh, these guardsmen. So these are Cadian plastic Cadian infantry with uh, Forge World resin upgrade parts that I've had for years and years and years uh, and never really done anything with. But uh, it looks like the new Imperial Guard Codex coming out from Games Workshop should be okay, provided they don't have to uh, errata it in the first week, uh, like the Votan one, but joking aside, it's uh, been waiting for it for a while, so when uh, when that comes out we'll no doubt be assembling some tanks, I've had some tanks in the stash for a while to support these guys, and also might even do a bit of green stuffing on stream because I've got some old classic metal ogrins that I'm going to uh, finish giving gas mask hoods. Started doing that about 15 years ago and never finished, so we might have to might have to do a bit of that on the stream at some point. Right then, let's get some. Tony says more work on Secret Santa this evening. Need to get a shot of my RCL Trio Mini. I. Uh... I'm still floundering ridiculously with my Secret Santa. Done my RCL, don't have to worry about that. But Secret Santa's having a little... Why? Uh, because I'm waiting for my husband to provide me with the miniature that I want. But there... I wasn't I wasn't going to say that out loud. Uh... <laughs> Fair enough. Better pull my finger out then. But I also need to finish the pillars for the shop ready for the Halloween fun day. Yeah. Which are currently just in the living room. They yeah. are. And you know what else? I hadn't noticed until today, and they've been here a while. I'd noticed the green crate of uh, Magic the Gathering cards that need yeah. sorting. Yeah. And then I'd turned around and, mo and noticed the other 
four crates of Magic the Gathering cards that need sorting. Yeah. But I hadn't noticed the 30 card storage boxes of Magic the Gathering cards that need sorting that are oh, over yeah. there. I hadn't seen yeah, those. You hadn't seen them? I hadn't seen those, no. Wow. What is it? 4,000 a box? Yeah. So that's, I, I didn't notice them until today. <laughs> I have added some super. Oopsie. <laughs> I've added some super cute, um, also soft dinosaur keyrings today. Uh, adorable! And only £3.49. And some dinosaur hand puppets, which are pretty cool. And, and some Reaper miniatures and some Wizkid miniatures as well. Yes, Halloween is for. I need to finish the pillars because they need to be there. And they're only like, just. I don't know. They're not going to be. They're not impressive. They're just some pillars for the top of the stairs. Uh, just some extra dressing. Yeah. If we if we had the money, then we would really really go over the top with the Halloween decorations at the shop. But unfortunately, we can't really justify it. I'd love like animatronics and all sorts of stuff and I'd love like different coloured lights and like loads of stuff but unfortunately we can't so you know if anybody has any uh, anything that they don't long, longer want for their house and they want to donate Halloween so you know it's, uh... <laughs> John the Templar is juicy I love the fact that we changed that voice to do that John the Templar is juicy and didn't just have the normal voice. John V. Temple. What's Mickey now? Mischievous now, do you mean? I think so. Yeah, we don't do that. And don't like bonfire night. Don't like bangs. Cross and big daft dead. Mischief night always used to be alright until it just became an excuse for mindless vandalism. Right. I we've never, I've never done that. That's never been a thing mm. with anybody I know that we've ever. I love the new Whiskids Beholder. Yes, that's what Nathan said. It looks so disappointed, so disappointed with life. Yeah, Nathan said it didn't look as comical, uh, as comical as as the. Current yeah, it's version. got it's got it's got smaller, pointier teeth. And more of them, I, uh, I think I'm going to end up painting one. Because I was never satisfied with the other one. So I think I'm going to have one of these new ones. Because, you know, it might come in handy for Pathfinder. Yeah, we could do, do that, do that. What's that? Some stuff that she's got. But yeah, they're all on. So I was I was saying in the Discord earlier, so... Uh, all of the whiz kids, all the new whiz kids, they're on. Uh, but the critical role ones are in the new category. They're all, they're all in the new category, and the critical role ones are showing up at the top. But because of how uh, we did these whiz kids one, one of the other members of staff added them in in preparation for them arriving. Which means that now that I've actually made them live, they don't show up at the top of the new section because they were added they're, they're not new anymore so they're in new but they're buried under all the new stuff that was added after if that makes sense mm. they are in with kids they are in miniatures they are in dolls and etc but they're not showing up on the new section um, at the top because newer stuff has been added since the member of staff added added those so that's why don't look like I've done them, but I honestly do that. <laughs> so yeah, just need to. Uh, you might have to search for them if you uh, if you know what you're looking for, and if you're not, yeah, if, if you you're don't just going to Whiskids, they're there, but they're a bit further down. That's all. Yeah. Well, all good fun. They're on. I promise. So and the critical role ones are in new because. They were new new. The, Behol the Beholder and the Maldrakar encounter for the Pathfinder group 
from the Taurus, uh, Taurus Ake and the two Jabberwockies. Yes. Is that what you're chucking at us? Yeah, Don't all, forget all, that bone naga that he says we've got to fight and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. All, all of these things, all of these things. You'll be fine. We have to actually play. I know. I need to not have to be at work all weekend for that to happen. Yeah, that's true. Haven't had haven't had any days off at all for a very long time, have you, sweetie pie? Had uh, some of Saturday off after we'd finished some decorating of, the shop. Some of Saturday off. Uh, technically, I've had today off because I've been uh, to help my dad, dad do some uh, that is true. removals. That is true. You've been lugging stuff about for your father. Yeah. yeah. Getting rid of some... Uh, yeah, you're a big lazy bum. You've get, had loads of time off. What am I thinking? Getting rid of some scrap metal for the oldsters. Right, I'm going to put a little bit more uh, green onto this hand here. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Red Snow. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. Uh, I forgot that one existed. And I'm also going to apply a little bit more of the green onto these scales. Are you just painting forever, darling? Uh, no. Oh, I just didn't know what you were doing. I just wanted to finish it, but I wanted it to look cool. Well, I suppose Wiki D is not, not streaming, so we don't have to rush. Have to Another rush. turtle made, made it to the water. water. Oh, how many more are they? I mean, like, they're, they're making it slowly, 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 but, like, how, how many are there? How many are stranded that need to make it there? Well, there's, when you watch the nature programs and you see where they've got to cross all those roads and stuff, there's loads of them in there. Apparently, Wicked D likes sour apple refresher sweets. Can't think of anything worse. Oh, apart from punch no, they, fat cakes, of course. They, they sound alright, sour Maybe apple you refreshers. you like that kind of look. We like, thankfully, we like completely different things, don't we? Yeah. In sweet, right? you like jellies and bonbons and things like that. Oh, I can't get lemon bonbons anywhere at the moment. Well, you can get lemon bonbons, you just can't get the ones that you like. Yeah. Lady Peachy, you can ask us a question. What, what would you like to know, my dear? We will try our very best. Very best to answer. As honestly as possible. Meant to press slap chop. <laughs> to say slap chop. Slap chop. You can ask us a question as well if you wanted to. Right. There's a... Fiddler Grap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him over there for a second a while, he, uh, time while he dries. Slap job. Slap job. Stick him over there a second while he dries while we do something else with our uh, our guardsman over here. Slap job. Well, he attacked us that time with that crab. Don't you remember turning me complaining about it? He made us come down some stairs so that this evil crab got us one at a time and then we nearly died because we couldn't fight it because we were in the narrow corridor because he's a big yep. meanie. <laughs> yeah, nearly, nearly killed you all on the stairs. He did. Big meanie. Mm, yep. We still got found a stupid scrub. Pa powered up dire crab nearly did the biz. It's, uh, there's a Pokemon in chat. We were complaining about it the other week when we were playing Muffin Time. Complaining about what, Pathfinder? Yeah, you, oh, well, like you we don't... can't find this green scroll. Well, you obviously you uh, uh, don't want to play then, do you, if you're complaining about it? <laughs> you never eat it. <laughs> so, Slap Chop's supposed to be quick. But I, uh, I think with the... It'll be quicker the more you do it. Yeah, but the thing is that you've got, you've done two minutes, not just one. Yeah. And you've never got this far on stream before. Mm. <laughs> Didn't we go down the stairs into some water and vanished to another part of the world? No, we just went the down the stairs and then got attacked. No, no. So after you'd done that encounter, oh. you uh, you ended up in the thing. And I, and I, I was a bit nice to Wicked D because she went through the portal and ended up oh, in the ocean and that then was it and you let her back i let her back really should have killed her i guess you've already you, 
squashed it with a ceiling and shaved all the hair off. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I felt a bit mean. Even though squashing her with the ceiling was completely her own fault. Yeah. The right. rest of the I'm party gonna... left her and went, well, if you want to be stupid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show these guys off. Oh. So these are... Uh, I'm going to put another coat of um, the bone colour, skeleton horde, on the horns. So, guardsman. Uh, now his gloves have dried, I don't think they look too bad. Think I might sort the gloves out on the Chaos Warrior. But, guardsman, guardsman's done, quite happy with the guardsman. Uh, Chaos Warrior just needs a tad more tweaky. Tweaky, tweaky. So, we'll get some... Uh, Get some of this Saigal brown we've got going on over here for the gloves, I think. Just darken those down a touch. They're a bit gold. Blend in with the handle on the weapon. I'm liking, uh, liking the suggestion of Agaros Dunes for non-metal metal, liking that. That might need a little bit more, because I thinned it. Might need a little bit more in the uh, in the middle, just to darken it a touch. Let's do that. I'm trying to be super careful, but then this this guy is basically a character mini, so. Uh, Spending a little bit more time to get a bit more precision rather than a quick job like the uh, the guardsman. I think he's worth it. What do we all reckon to slap chop technique then? I can I can see how it'll really kind of pay off when you're doing rank and file stuff. Best, like the guardsman, perfect for those. But I've always thought that if you're painting some models in your army with a certain technique, that you really need to use the same technique on them all so that they look the same. So I think uh, the rest of this warbander are going to have to get painted with the same technique for. Uh, Underworlds, but then there is only four of them, so that shouldn't be too bad. Definitely, I think priming him with the uh, with the sprays and stuff is certainly the most time-consuming part of this. Having to warm the cans up and spray him and mess it out. I haven't painted the hilt, and the handle on that weapon. Can we use any of these colours that we've got here? Let's use a bit of that red. It's got a nicely uh, decorate, like, bound handle on there. I think that should be a nice red. in there. Nearly finished a mini. Oh, wow. What's going on? It's been ages since I've finished a mini on stream. I mean, to be fair, you have had 20 minutes extra. But, you know, we weren't, we weren't penalised you for that. It'll soon be bedtime. Yep. Yeah. What else you got to tell us? Uh, because <laughs> I've not been at the shop today, so no, uh, no shop news, I guess. But um, don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Might on me on my videos I do tomorrow. I'll have some uh, interesting stuff to tell you about the shop. I uh, I am very much enjoying this method. Right, that's something I can tell you. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's looking pretty Is this your new thing now? Good. Oh yeah, it might have to be. Might have to be. Might have to just repaint everything I've ever painted using this. <laughs> I'm going to call him done. So we've got like fakey non-metal metal weapons and uh, stuff. Pretty, uh, pretty happy with him. Think he's like, think he's looking pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really pleased with him. Really happy without back, with, without his turn now. Backside looks like that. Nothing, uh, nothing too over the top, but perfectly, uh, perfectly serviceable. I'd be happy to uh, play games with this guy and his uh, and his little team painted to this standard. I think he looks really cool. Well, let's take a uh, take a final photo for the for the thing. I'm, I'm one of the guardsmen. I think, I think a whole uh, whole army of these all painted the same will look pretty cool. Awesome. Right. So, there we go. Uh, Sharon says that she's too messy to do this. Gaming standard. Yep. Yeah, that's right, Red Snail. That's all we need. I'm not uh, not planning on entering painting competitions, so I'm quite happy with that. And if it means I could get models on the table quickly, then that's uh, perfect. And Tony says, I slop paint around everywhere. Nose, fingers, clothes. Sometimes I even manage to hit the mini. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, I found uh, this morning that I had managed to get paint on my glasses. I've got, in fact, they're still there. I've got splodges of black paint on my specs. Just there, look. Just there. So, and actually, from when I uh, when I undercoated the minis earlier on, I've got flecks, because it was a little bit windy, I've got flecks of white paint on my glasses as well now, so I'm going to have to uh, give them a good clean after the stream. You uh, gluing wings on. Well, I'm <laughs> awesome. Well, I think uh, I think we're we're about done there. So this is the perfect point. So after like this guy's this guy's like done, he's uh, he's going to be dry, and we're going to say that he's complete. I'll paint the room of his base with uh, some normal matte black, and that'll be him done and dusted for now. But then there's no reason to say that you can't come back later. And just do some other highlights on top of the uh, the contrast or whatever, just to pick out like finer points. But really, don't think you need to for uh, like tabletop everyday gaming use. Probably don't need to do a great deal with it. Really, pretty uh, pretty cool. I will definitely be using this technique again in future. Probably to paint this guy's mates. Sorry. Okay. Slap chop doing great video. Slap chop. Slap chop. Slap chop. Cool. So, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, thank you, Lady Pichu. We will next be streaming on Monday. Next Monday, where uh, I'm bound to be painting some stuff ready for the Halloween party day uh, because I've not done anything tonight. So, uh, Please join us on Monday, 8 p.m., and we'll uh, we'll see you all then. Have a great weekend in between. Thank you for joining us, everyone, and we'll hope to see you soon. Take care.